Hello guys, uh, today I will talk about time synchronization option in Ultimate Tribal Vars bot uh, about the configuration. So you can enable it simply by checking this checkbox. Now to properly configure it, uh, you need to set GMT time. What is GMT time? I will show you now. So you can see that this is 19 hours. This is my current time of my system. Now I will go to the web, to the server where I play. This one is for a test example, it's Italian server. In Italy there is GMT plus one. So as you can see, there is 20 hours, so it's plus one hour. In here, I'm in London and it's 19 hours. So at first you need to adjust time of the bot to match the time in the server at least for the hours and minutes. That's why, for example, in here, uh, you have to adjust it with the GMT time. You can also do that uh, with the 30 minutes because some zones around the world have different minutes, uh, also half an hour, yes. So now I set the GMT time to one. You can, you can see the clock. It's 19 hours. Now I will set it to one and it changed to 20 hours. Now let's go uh, to the server and on the server is 20, 26, 20, 26 and then seconds, which is fine. So now bot will be able to synchronize it properly and there will be no gap. So this will be your settings if you play, for example, being in UK and you play with the different servers in different zone times. But most of the time, if you are in Italy, then you will play on Italian server. If you are in London, then you will play on the .NET servers. In, if you are in Germany, you will play on German servers. So most likely this time will be uh, all the time uh, adjusted. So most likely you will not have to touch GMT time at all. Now, uh, another option is synchronize time every minute. So it means it's uh, range. Uh, and bot will synchronize bot every 8 to 16 minutes. I recommend this settings uh, is basically it's adjusting the, the time every interval. Um, and the reason is uh, I noticed that most of the servers they have like a 20 milliseconds difference uh, per 10 minutes plus minus. So um, if you really want to synchronize bot and do very uh, accurate attacks, like snipe attacks, noble attacks and so on, uh, then I recommend it to do that with this interval. Now, mini maximal acceptable difference in milliseconds, it means basically what uh, sh bot should achieve. So if the bot will synchronize time up to 8 milliseconds, this will finish. Uh, if uh, most of the time bot will be able to do that, uh, to even synchronize it to zero milliseconds difference. Uh, so you can also leave that um, setting as well. Another uh, option is minimal synchronization unit count. Uh, this option is again range and it will uh, set bots uh, units which will be sent from the cities. So for example, uh, bot uh, will send from 5 to 15 uh, spies, for example. At the beginning, bot checks if the spies are available. If the spies are available, then takes them. Then uh, I think the order is spears, swords, uh, uh, I think light cavalry, and so on, etc. So, um, but at first, bot tries to take uh, 5 um, spies, 5 to 15 spies and to send that attack, attack with that unit. So you can configure how much units will go in that test attack, which is uh, used to synchronize uh, bot. Uh, now, what I added uh, in this version are a few options. So here is send test attacks from villages. They are separated by semicolon. Right now I have only one village uh, and there is not even, yes, there are coordinates for nine two. 592 and I basically have it here so I only have one if you have more villages then you can specify from which you want to send these test attacks let's say you want to send them only from your defensive villages because on your offensive villages you plan some attacks and you don't want uh, any attack uh, to be interfered with the units uh, taken from sending test attacks by time synchronization 
so you may use that option you may not use it uh, the important thing is that uh, semicolon is a separator so if you want to separate and put another village then do something like that right uh, something pretty much it. it they are separated by semicolon so remember that uh, most of the time you don't need that option but in the rare cases you want to turn it on now on the village on the wards without barbarian villages um, bot will find uh, uh, barbarian villages to send the um, the attacks for example this is the world without barbarian villages and the funny thing is that actually there are there is one barbarian village there is another barbarian village and i think somewhere here yes there is one there were two but now yeah, actually it is there so you can see that there there is some barbarian villages problem is most of the time you will be able to send uh, the attack there but sometimes when they are too far away you won't be able to send attack there a bot will uh, when sending sending attack there bot will tell you that i cannot send attack and then uh, you cannot synchronize time so what you need to do is to actually go here to the settings and select this force test attacks on configured players villages so this will force to use these configured players separated by semicolon or these configured villages uh, by separated by semicolon. Uh, if you will not disable, uh, if you will uncheck that option, force test attacks, bot will only send attacks to these villages or to these players only when there will be no barbarian villages at all in the world. So I recommend uh, you to test it and if you are on the world without barbarian villages I actually recommend you to make it uh, enabled so bot will always send in this case to these players, attacks to these players or to these villages, one or the other. Uh, so for example let's go to the map, I will show you how it looks like. So on the map I have these two players and basically you can see this is Represcatore and jack of space right so these are two players and let's say i want to send test attacks to synchronize bot to these players so i already have them there and here and i separated them by semicolon you can see that here now let's say i don't want to send it to players i just want to pick up two villages you can see that these coordinates are actually the coordinates of uh, that villages uh, i will show you that like that so you can see there is 488594 and this is exactly what I have here, 488594. Another one is 487594. So you can see these are the villages bot will send uh, an, an attack to. Obviously if I will force test attacks. Uh, so this is pretty much it about time synchronization in ultimate three barbas bot you can also always and i advise to do so uh, check what uh, time synchronization uh, says because uh, sometimes you will if bot will not synchronize you will see what is happening um, in the bot by uh, simply uh, checking the log so at first bot looks for uh, cities uh, which are available with the um, with the units so you have you have to have some units to send attack first uh, then you can see found city with troops uh, then force test attacks on configured players and villages and sending test attack to in this case jack of spades and that uh, village so you can see attack was sent and time synchronization is progressing current difference is minus uh, six something 622 milliseconds and then it will be like a four or more of these attacks sent and bot will synchronize um, this uh, these time so this is it uh, this is all the information I wanted to, to share about this feature and uh, thank you for uh, watching